Hi. <laughs> I'm uh, Jeremy from Touche Amore. Talking to Andy and Kevin from yeah. Bad Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are talking off camera before this started uh, about how um, the small world it is that uh, that we all kind of know each other. I don't know how you and Kevin know each other. For, uh, for a long time. For years. Yeah. I, uh, I was making the sure the AP yeah, is still facing out. Facing. Uh, the first time I saw you was you were doing, I th I'm assuming it was like a showcase show for Capital. It was in a, it wasn't the Viper Room, but it was a place. Oh just my like, God. Oh my God. Like the Mint or the Room mint. 5 or I something? Hervelles? The, the Mints, I think it was. Those and were went, awful shows. Those yeah. were truly awful That's shows. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, um, I was a big fan of Miracle of 86 and all of that. And I, and I followed that, uh, that you were doing solo stuff. And um, I had just gotten home from a terrible tour with my old band. And I was like... Were you living in L.A. at that point? LA, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. And, um, and I was supposed to go on a date that night with this girl. <laughs> and I was like, sorry, date's changed for going to see the show. You blew off a date? No, no, she came with. Oh, okay. So, and now you're married happily? Uh, <laughs> no? No. Okay. No. <laughs> I thought uh, that was the end of the story. Though. We are still friends, That's though. good, yeah. So we went to the show, and I remember, I'll never forget, it was uh, uh, her and I were sitting at a table, and then it was like rando dudes at the bar watching and hotel like, cafe no it was, no, it was okay it was the mint or something yeah and, maybe. Uh, and uh after the, like right before the last song you're all if anyone wants to talk just come say what's up and you literally finished and you put the guitar down and you just sat at our table y'all what's up <laughs> wow <laughs> so that was it and then I'm a pretty uh, cool guy yeah and then um after that i don't know i saw you at uh there was that venue in Riverside that... that oh, that uh, was... Those that shows was, were actually really fun. Yeah, it was like yeah. an old skate park that got revamped. It was like, a, it was like oh. an empty warehouse. And right. then it got totally shut down eventually, right? Yeah. That place isn't there anymore. I really enjoyed those shows. Yeah, there was yeah, like a thrift... Park, park, park View. I think yes, park that's view. exactly right. They had, so. One of the dudes wrote beats for Ludacris or something like yeah. that. One of the guys who ran the place was like, this is what I do, but on the side, I write beats for Ludacris. I was like... You know that uh, Kanye song... Or not uh, that Raise Up? song that uh, Ludacris did yes. the raise up Kanye West did that beat really you wouldn't really? know and it wasn't publicized that it was his? no I mean nobody knew who he was and it was kind of funny because like years later it has nothing to do with anything but uh, Pete okay. Rosenberg <laughs> yeah that's yeah. exactly right that's why Kanye is the new executive producer on the Touche Morning record yeah. um, no but like Pete Rosenberg you know that radio personality was like uh, he's like a hip hop dude and he said to Kanye I had no idea that you did that beat and Kanye was like any you should have you should believe that anytime you hear a great beat, it's me. <laughs> so yeah, the man, little education. The man. Um, but yeah, and I met you uh, through a brother. Yeah, on we, the we, are, we have Center. a re relatively new yeah. budding relationship. Exactly. Yeah, we met in New York on that O Brother circa them tour, and yeah, uh, Webster Hall, Ter Terminal, Terminal Five. Five. Yeah, Five. yeah, it was awesome, man. I mean, you know, like uh, balance and composure too. They just put out a new record right yep. when does your record come out our record comes out uh on the 24th okay it's not cool this one. yeah wow awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. i have it it's really rad That's super good. super rad i <laughs> like you guys too like you know i saw you live and then kind of like listen to uh, some stuff previous yeah. but this new record i was kind of diving in it's like it's weird i think like the new manchester record has heavier sounding guitars than their new record but their record is somehow way heavier. Like they do, like the really high, cool melodic thing, mm -hmm. and then him just screaming. Yeah. I was gonna say, why did AB ask you? You must have the most just busted talking voice oh. out of any well, lead singer I've ever dude, met. Dude. <laughs> First off, I always sound like garbage, and on top of that, no, that's really nice to say. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I always First sound. Off, I always sound like garbage. Yeah, I always sound like garbage. But on top of that, like every drive out to the tour we're on right now mm -hmm. we're out with AFI has been just like night like overnight drive after overnight drive oh you're to following the bus around and, and, and awful. to like started the tour in Minneapolis we're from LA and then like and then oh every God. actually every band on the tour is from California wow so who else why not? on that tour uh, there's a, a band it's their first tour they're called Coming so yeah um, yeah and, they uh, are yeah they're they're cool they're a punk band <laughs> thing to do <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I think it's cool. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so yeah, and uh, so it's just and there's like overnight drive after overnight drive. It's getting robbed. It's uh, coming here. 
So, but now I'm standing in the rain with my with my friends. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, brother had a pretty bad start to their tour too. I think like three three days in a row, van stuff, oh, trailer damn. came unattached, and the and drive. and the wheel went down. Oh, that happened God. to us one time, but it was Wait, like, didn't happen on the beginning of that very first brand new tour. We oh, we were oh. driving, but our thing was that the there was a, a tire. The spare tire was kept underneath the conversion van, and the tire just dropped randomly. And so we're like looking, and just smokes, you know, black smoke like pillowing out. We was it was a half a mile from oh. the no from home. Oh. We like took a right out of the neighborhood, and we made it. Okay, so like you know the studio neighborhood. We took a right. We hadn't made it to the Kroger yet. Up like that's like two minutes less than less two than two minutes. Yeah. We're talking like 500 feet. And immediately, oh yeah. But oh yeah, my brother God. had a pretty wicked start. And then I was talking to Tanner on the phone, like 30 minutes in. He's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I got, hey, man, I got to let you go. I'm going to have to hop off here. I'm going to have to hop off here. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I'm going to round it back to you guys to have the obvious question. Uh, I, I, How many books have you read? How many, what's the worst book you've written now? Um, I saw that brand new tour that both of you guys were on. Right? I assume that's where oh, you cool. met. Oh, cool. I assume that's where you met. That is, uh, we met like a couple we weeks earlier right before that, right before weeks before yeah. that. yeah yeah but yeah that's where we became buddies and i'm assuming the band idea came much later actually it kind of came like immediately the yeah tour. i remember you guys played the neutral milk hotel cover together right right on that right tour. and we were all i watched that online the other day i remember it being a lot cooler <laughs> than it actually sounded i think the cool thing was that there was 30 people yeah it was just like everybody playing, just yeah. beating on shit yeah i think that uh by the middle of that tour we were playing on each other's sets oh okay. like all bands it very all bands. Yeah. yeah yeah kevin started playing on almost our entire set and we were playing on like half a year set yeah and then i we were both playing on, on brand, brand new, new set, set. Yeah. so yeah that was def i've never been on a tour like that since yeah. you know? okay little now, versions of that but not as like not as okay everybody seven doing. weeks of yeah. playing a five-hour set obvious question number two I got it. I'm so, I'm so. Okay. Okay. All oh, right. You're doing cool. great. Now, uh, are you still in Brooklyn? I am. All right. Now, and you're obviously in. Yeah, uh, north of Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. So, do you guys just like, like, hey, this month we're going to start working on a record? Or is it just. Or well, we're going to make a record. We're going to make yeah. these two weeks. We're going to make a record. Yeah, so we've never. Did you go in with a clean slate, like nothing written? He usually has a lot more, and he'll like bring him in, and then like his song will piss me off because it's really good, and then I'll like go to the other room and write a song. Right, right, right. Yeah. Nice of you to say, Andy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's generally how we, uh, we we put them together. Okay. And it's really just like when we have just a little bit of time, you know. Whenever there's stuff between our other stuff. Okay. Now is it hard? Now if you're saying you're bringing songs, is it hard for you to go like, oh, this is gonna be a bad book song, not a? It wasn't that way at all on the first record because we didn't we didn't really know if we were making a record yet. Okay. So we were just like, these are five songs I've written since okay. my last record. Oh, okay. And if bad books didn't happen, they might have been a different uh, execution of those songs might have been on like the next. Maybe. Maybe. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And like for me, I don't even know if any of them would have. I was like digging through, you know, old B sides and trying to find something. That first Bad Books record is like the definition of a band's like first record. It's yeah, like a little, little half baked. Yeah. But there's you know? stuff on it that really got there, I feel bangers, like. And you but can yeah. see. Second, but number two is like. That was focused. We yeah. knew we were like, you know, trying yeah. to raise the bar a little bit yeah. for number two. Yeah. It's. They're both awesome, but Thank number you. two is. And it's my first time seeing you guys today. Because oh, oh, last wow. time you guys played the Troubadour, we were playing another show that night. That's, that's right. Was, that's yep. right. On that same tour. On that same, exactly. On that circuit so, tour. Yeah. Uh, that's fuck rad. You guys. Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> Actually, fuck you guys. Because if I remember correctly, I think that <laughs> our show was a little low that night at the Troubadour. <laughs> was it? Like a hit. No, we did fucking great. <laughs> I mean, don't get me I wrong. I thought your show was sold out. Mm, I thought it was yeah. The show was sold out. <laughs> And it was fucking crazy. But it Your did, show was sold out. No, our show was half empty. <laughs> yeah. But, but. Uh, you know, 2,200 kids around the block at ours. We're all the, all the way back around up to the Sunset the to Strip, the baby. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Holy God. <laughs> yeah, well, I was, said you want it loose, AP. <laughs> you get it loose, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry. No, man. you're good, man. Stop calling me Anthony. <laughs> Um, uh, well, I was I was there in spirit. I yeah. wanted to be there really bad. Uh, Wish you were there in person buying merch, baby. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. That was. Oh no, God. Yes. That yes. Quick yes. Wait. Oh, like it's it. so bad too because I don't even laugh anymore. <laughs> I've just been around him so much that it's just. Those I'm like internally the, laughing. 
I, I love it. Those are the kinds of comments that the kids hate when I say stuff like that. <laughs> Especially uh, your wife. Kevin seems Jeez. like an asshole. Yeah. Anyway. Are you married? Yeah. When did that happen? Yeah, uh, you know, I keep it on years and years ago. <laughs> yeah, I've, been, I've basically been married in spirit years. for a long time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And you're married. I am. I yeah. am. I, yeah, I've been married for a, a bit. What's that like? It's cool. It was like a little, you know, weird for the first bit because you don't really know what you're doing. And then yeah. it becomes awesome. And, you know, it's like just kind of getting through life with another person. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't complain. I'm two weeks into it, so I mean, oh. for me, it's very. Uh, it was a. It was long to to get there, yeah. and uh, but not much is different. I it's think. almost like you just made it official. Yeah. It's, it's always been, you know. Yeah. That. Okay. But cool, I, I'm cool. I'm happy. Congratulations. Thank you. That's very cool. Thank you. How's That's your girlfriend? She's well. Aww. She's well. Yeah, She's we got to meet her in L.A. when he came out to Manchester show. You haven't. No. Mm -hmm. No, this, uh, we've been here for about a year. He got divorced from the girl that yeah. he brought to your show, yeah. and then it's just uh, been a hurt really bad. It. No, I get it. You, it's, they you didn't do toxic, a prenup, man. and yeah, you're toxic, man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, you know, I guess we're gonna <laughs> Scott Heisel. <laughs> I just got the this, so we're gonna wrap this up here. That's amazing. Didn't you guys have beef like two weeks ago? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, that's nice. Nice, yeah. yeah. Now, you're, now you're back. Hey, lovely. So Derek Perry from Fake Problems, he goes. Oh God. So, so uh. Derek is funny. Yeah, he is. Strange. So, thing. so I post because he was nice enough. We got five stars in the new alternative press, which is very nice. Wow. That's very nice. So. I've only got. I've only done that twice. <laughs> so Derek Perry goes. Remind me to beef with Scott Heisel right before our record comes <laughs> out. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, All that's right. awesome. I'm Jeremy. This is Andy, Andy and, and this Kevin. Is, I'm Kevin. All right. Bye. Bad books. <laughs>